Hello, and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B, and I am so excited to be back with you today in the studio. It um, is pouring down rain, so I'm sure you can hear that. It's pouring down rain um, and lots of thunder, and um, we have just had storm after storm after storm here in central Indiana lately. So it's kind of been a lot, but I think everywhere is either, you're either like super over um, drenched, I guess is the right word, or you're super dry. So um, we have definitely had lots and lots of rain in the last uh, maybe two weeks. So I'm sorry that you can hear that, but um, yeah. That's, that's what it is. So hopefully, hopefully you're not too distracted. Hopefully I can distract you with some stitching and some goodness. We are dog sitting, um, sweet Dodge. So I'm sure that you will see his, his tail, his head, anything. Um, he is super scared of the storms. We have only had him since yesterday. Um, and we'll have him for a week. And I text his mom this morning and I said, um, he tried to like jump in my shower. He's not, not while I'm showering, but, um, he's like, he won't leave our bathroom. And she said, yeah, he likes tight confined spaces. And so the shower is perfect for him. So anyway, um, so if you see him kind of pop in and out, um, that is what is going on. He, um, wants to love our cats, but our cats do not want to love him. So, uh, we have, we have been fighting that, but that's okay. That's okay. We, my middle son, um, our middle son loves every animal possible. He loves to learn everything he can about every animal. And so, um, he is actually dog sitting this week. So, um, he just happens to be gone right now. So Dodge and I are friends. Um, let's see what has happened since I last talked with you. Um, the last time I talked with you, we went over my trip to Cincinnati, my vacation. Um, we talked about StitchCon. We talked about Petite Retreat and my fantastic friends. Um, those of those friends who have uh, floss tubes, they have now put out floss tubes. So head over and watch Teresa, the Garden Goose Stitcher. She put out a fantastic recap of our trip um, in her floss tube and then Two needles pulling th uh, thread, Kathy and Missy have put out two floss tubes. I am super far behind. Um, they have put out two floss tubes, one talking about their um, StitchCon experience. And then this week they released one for our petite retreat and craft gallery. And then they had a very special announcement in their video, which was amazing. Um, I miss floss tube. I have not gotten to watch any floss tube in the last two-ish weeks. Um, Tech Eye has been on vacation, which is huge. Love that. Um, but the week before, you know, was trying to get into the rhythm of things for me being back on from vacation. And then um, now he's been on vacation. So I have not sat down to watch Floss Tube before last night in two weeks. So last night I tried to catch up a little bit um, and, and watch some of those. So very, very exciting. Um, I've had a birthday since we spoke last. Uh, my birthday was last Sunday, July 2nd, and um, we did absolutely nothing. We um, just spent the day kind of at home. Um, our youngest had a migraine because of all the storms and things like that. So we just kind of laid low to our house. Um, I got to stitch a little bit and um, yeah, that's about it. Tech guy made us a really yummy steak dinner and um, that's about it. So we did um, celebrate with my parents a little bit on the 4th of July, which is not something I like to do. I really like to have a separate birthday from a holiday that you normally spend with family and friends. Um, and that way that everyone is celebrating the 4th of July and not everyone is celebrating me. Um, but that didn't work out this year. This is the first year that hasn't worked out. And so um, we did a little bit of cake and some presents which is really sweet. And I did a little bit of shopping, which I will share with you here in a little while. Um, so overall, it was a, it was a lovely birthday. Um, what else? Oh, I did get to start my birthday with Liz Matthews. That was something. So that morning she had texted me and I had gotten a package from her 
on Saturday and I took all of my strength and did not open it until Sunday. I knew that I would want a little treat that morning and I knew that we would FaceTime each other. And so I got to start my morning with that and it was fantastic. We spent a half an hour um, just kind of chatting and filling in and then she was like, I can't stand anymore, can you please open your gift? And I was like, great, because I can't stand it anymore that I'm staring at this package. So I will share that with you later on. But um, that was a sweet time with her and I. We do not get enough time with each other because um, we live too far apart, but that was a very sweet time with her. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, let's stop chatting and dive into stitching. I am on my way to a birthday brunch today in the pouring rain. My hair will not look like this the second I step out the door, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go to a birthday brunch and then I'm gonna come home and stitch the rest of the day. So let me, um, I have lots of things to share. Um, so let me dive into it. I don't know how long this will be. It might not be too long, but, um, but we'll see. Okay. So speaking of, well, did I do anything on this? I have it in my whip pile, but I actually don't think that I worked on this at all. So speaking of Liz, I pulled this out to work on, on Sunday and ended up not working on it at all. This is Kindred Spirits by uh, Teresa Kogut. Um, I almost said Kathy Barrick because she also has a Kindred Spirits that we're working on. Um, but I explained this in my last video if you've not seen it, and I'm sorry I did not iron anything. Um, that um, I didn't love the word spirits, and um, so I kind of at StitchCon had taken a collective like, what does everybody think about this? Um, and so I had, was kind of interviewing some other words. Interviewing? That sounds very formal. I was just kind of tossing around some other words. And Missy from Two Needles Pulling Thread had happened to come over to the table at that point. She's like, what if you do kindred hearts? So I just need to add the S on here. But I thought I had, I pulled this out to put some stitches in it. And I did not do that. So this says kindred heart at, um, at present. And it will just fit in right here at the bottom. So... I'm excited to get some work in on that. I think I'll take it back downstairs um, and work on that some more. Um, a couple of months ago, I was antiquing and I found this beautiful um, bedside or table side, couch side, wherever you put it, um, sewing. It's a wooden, it looks like a really big magazine rack, but it's for sewing. Um, it has a tray in it that you can put bobbins and two compartments for like scissors and, and rubbish. And um, I had text the girls about it and I said, look how amazing this is. Um, and they were so kind and generous. I got to go back and buy that. And I just thought that was the sweetest surprise. It was a very um, sweet early Mother's Day, birthday, whatever I would like um, generous gift. And so um, everything I wanna stitch on for the week just kind of hangs out in that, in that um, what is it called? caddy like wooden caddy I don't know it's quite large I can't like carry it up the stairs um but everything that I want to stitch on for the week just kind of hangs out in that so I think I'm gonna set this aside and work on that later this week I might work on it later today after I get back we'll see um I did pull this out <clears throat> um this is um I haven't I haven't worked on this in a while this is quilting bee from the blue flower this is um, one of my first purchases from Keepsakes. I had <clears throat> I had um, text Stephanie and I said, "Can I? do you have this? And she said, no, but I'll order it for you. In <clears throat> that time that I was waiting for it to come in, um, a friend, uh, no, a company sent this to me. And so I had started working on it. So this was planned to be my first purchase from Keepsakes and it, uh, it was gifted to me in the meantime. But I love this. The picture does not do it justice. Um, <clears throat> but let me show you my progress. I was stitching on this a little bit last night. Let me put something behind this because I think I will need it. Here I am on this. I mean, just the detail in this is phenomenal. I love it so much. Um, this is the bee's body. Let me show you that. So this is the bee's body. Let me see if it will focus here. And, um... I just haven't filled it in yet. So this is a 46 count bee stitch me in sand dollar. And I just um, pulled from stash for threads. I started this two years ago. 
Um, in fact, I was sitting at Great Wolf Lodge stitching on it um, in May of 21. So um, I love this piece. It's so stinking cute. It was going to be a StitchCon Smalls exchange in 21 and I ended up not being allowed, not being allowed. I ended up not being able to go to StitchCon in 21 because um, we had an emergency surgery. So um, I got to keep it. And I'm actually really glad about that because right now I wanna keep it. Um, I don't know, I'm putting a, like a lot of work into it and I put a lot of work into Smalls exchanges, but this one I feel like I would have a really hard time parting with. Um, okay, let me show you some other things that I've been working on. So the Courage Cell by Praiseworthy Stitches, I have been working on that, I started it, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm going to restart it. Um, one, I think I miscalculated um, my fabric. I love this fabric so much. I will probably take the time to rip out all of these stitches because this is um, 46 count London Fog by Under the Sea and I love this so much. Um, and I will probably rip out all the stitches because I don't, anyway, I think I miscalculated. And I had ordered floss at StitchCon. I had sent over for floss that they didn't have. So they did a replacement for me and it's Threadworks um, color 1024. And then I don't have the cover photo cause it's on my iPad, but, um, Weeks Dye Works blue jeans is the lighter color. So if you don't know this cell, um, and somebody had left a comment because I struggled with my words when I was introducing this, um, haul, I guess, in, in StitchCon, um, in the recap video. And I was struggling with my words of like, my son doesn't have cancer. Um, he is medically complex. And so, um, I, I struggled over my words of like how to describe that and why I wanted to do, um, this cell. And somebody had commented survivorship and I thought that was a good word. I just don't know if that's the, that's the perfect word for it. So anyway, all that to say, our son's ribbon is dark blue and light blue. Um, it's two colors. And so this is what... I was going to do them as, this actually is a dark blue, and then this is Blue Jeans by Weeks Dye Works. What I wanted to do, Gast has a new color called Distressed Denim, and I will show you a different project that I've, excuse me, finished since our last video, and you will see the difference in the colors, and I love Distressed Denim. It's a new color, so Keepsakes is already out of it, um, and so, I wanted to do that and then Midnight from Color and Cotton. Um, and so when I when I started this, I just don't know that I love the Threadworks color. And so when I realized that I may have cut this fabric wrong, I'm not gonna be heartbroken about having to start over. I went ahead and placed a one, two, three stitch order yesterday. Um, we'll get into that in a few minutes, but I went ahead and placed an order yesterday and ordered the threads I wanted originally. And I'm gonna see if maybe that will sparked my interest and, and changed my opinion about this. So I've, I've gotten just, you know, the corner done, but I just, every time I go to work on it, I just think, do I love this? And this is definitely a piece that's gonna be like in our home. So I wanna make sure that I love it. And so I think I'm, I think I'm gonna restart it. I did order all the threads. Um, so we'll see how that comes in. So I placed a one, two, three uh, stitch order yesterday because our oldest son um, is 12. He will be 13 in about a month and a half. Um, he is having surgery in, at the beginning of August. Um, and so he will be um, unable to walk for, uh, he will be non-weight bearing on both of his legs for six weeks and then they will teach him how to walk again at six weeks and that, that process can take six to 12 weeks. So it's gonna be a lot of downtime. So last week I was like, hey bud, do you wanna learn how to stitch again? And I had taught him when he was younger, but um, you know, boys, like they don't care about this stuff. And he was like, oh, I don't really know mom. Like, I don't, I don't know what I wanna stitch. And I said, well, let's look at some like maybe video game patterns or something like that. And he saw that Zelda Triforce that Nathan did several years ago um, and was like, mom, I want to do that. Dodge, it's okay. So, um, we pulled fabric for him and floss and he is loving it. I should have brought it up here. I almost did and decided no, I wouldn't, but, um, he's loving it. So yesterday on one, two, three stitch, I don't, I don't stitch on Ada, but 
it has happened in my life enough that I want to teach people to stitch. I always grab for 16 or 18 count Ada to teach them with. And I don't have a stash of that. So yesterday on one, two, three stitch, I just grabbed some 18 count Ada, a bunch of it and threw it in a cart and it's on my way to me, on its way to me. So I can kit up a couple of things for him for this, this downtime. Um, I found an office pattern. Kristen from Steel City Stitchers did an office, um, it's like a circle um, pattern and he and I love to watch the office together. So I got that, I thought I'll put that in a basket for him. I bought him some, you know, he's 12, he'll be 13 in a month and a half. And so like the whole Lego thing, he's like phased out of that and almost to the, I wanna build Legos and display them. I don't know the last time you looked at Lego prices, like display Lego prices, not just like run to Target and grab this sort of Lego prices. Um, oh my word. So, so I think we're going to buy maybe like one set of display Legos that he can build while he's down. He does like to do diamond painting. He's got some Star Wars diamond painting that he likes to do. Um, <clears throat> he's got a really cool like Nintendo one that he likes. And then he'll do some stitching. And then I'm, I'm a mean homeschool mom and I'll make him do a little bit of schoolwork um, during that time. But anyway, anyway, so that will be, that will be the thought um, for him. So I can't wait for my one, two, three stitch order to come in. And I thought before I hit order and already get charged shipping, is there anything else I need? And I thought, well, I'll just restart that. I'll get the threads I originally wanted and I will restart that. And I will file those threads away and use them for a different project. That Threadworks one though, if you've used Threadworks, would you tell me how you feel about it? Cause right now I just, I don't know about it. Um, I just don't know about the coverage. Okay. Um, the other thing that is housed in this bag, this is just kind of our peanut bag. It's a Polar Express bag that Alex gave me, um, little house stitches. She gave it to me at Stitchcom. Um, I have started the Twin Peaks, Twin Peak Primitives, um, be beautiful sampler. Um, and I started that in honor of our son and, um, the journey that I stitched their model on is just very special. I did a video on it a couple of weeks ago about, um, why I wanted to do this out and why I wanted to stitch it again. And so I haven't made any more progress, but here's where I'm at. It just lives in this bag. So I thought, why not pull it out? So I am hosting a sale with this. This is the, um, hashtag don't be afraid, B-E-E, afraid, S-A-L. And so I have everything kitted up for that. I just need to work on it. There needs to be more hours in the day, um, which is not possible. But so those are sort of the things that I worked on in the last couple of weeks, but I have two finishes. Let me show you. So speaking of teaching a friend to stitch, my friend Carissa, uh, we homeschool together. We also work together for our homeschool group. Um, and she, back in the fall, we were at a meeting together and I had um, gifted a little um, heartstring sampler. Heartstring samplery does the, um, the hem patterns. And I had gifted another friend who stitches one of those patterns and all the things to do it. And Carissa was like, oh, I would love to do this. And so I quickly picked up a kit for her. She went on vacation, took it with her, loved it. She's already done that pattern, moved on to other ones. She moved on to um, Butterfly Cloche by Liz Matthews. She has figured out that Liz Matthews is kind of her niche. That's what she really likes. She has now subscribed to Liz's Patreon, follows her on Instagram. Like um, she has figured out, Dodge. Okay, he might stop. Um, anyway, all of that to say over the last couple of months, Chris and I have been stitching together here and there and everywhere. So on Monday of this past week, I went to her house and we stitched for a bit, but on the Wednesday previous, we went up to always in stitches and I got to show her that shop and, um, she explored so many different patterns. I bought her son a pattern and some Ada so he could learn how to stitch. And uh, we just had such a great time. We were only there about an hour and then we grabbed some lunch and headed home, but it was just such a lovely time. So when we were there, I got this shepherd's bush kit and I will tell you, it's called embrace the journey bag. 
and it is from Shepherd's Bush. I'll show you the back of it. This was just what was holding the kit together. And this was the cover photo. And so it's very, very cool. I thought, man, this is neat. So this came with everything you need to make that little bag, including the bag itself. And I stitched it on Monday and got it finished up. So it's just a tiny little zipper bag. It's got some buttons in it and it just says embrace the journey. I love to have these little zipper bags. I throw them in my purse for everything. It's a great little notions bag if you just want a pair of scissors and um, you know, a couple little stitchy things. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Dodge went a little crazy, he found a cat. So um, I'm so sorry about the barking. Um, okay, so where was I? Talking about the bag. So this is the bag from Shepherd's Bush. I love it so much. And these were handcrafted. I wanna read you what it says on the pattern. Stitch on your buttons as indicated on the pattern. Note, these darling little bags are all handmade for us by Inez at Adam, at Adam Originals. So each one may vary a bit. Center to the design in the linen, and I suggest using straight pens and counting the design so it's perfectly centered. I did do something of the sort, but the fact that these bags are all handmade by someone, and they even have like the gusset at the bottom so they'll stand up, it's perfect. And so I just loved this quick little stitch. And um, I have so much thread left over. So they give you plenty of thread. Um, Always and Stitches had a couple of these left. Uh, Carissa and I both got one. Um, Always and Stitches had a couple of these left. So you can call up there and they are happy to ship things to you. So that was one finish. Okay, the other one. So this lives in my Teresa bag, Garden Goose Stitcher made us these for petite retreat and I love them so much. Um, and we started this pattern at petite retreat. We had picked it out several, um, well, the girls had picked it out a long time before, um, before, anyway, they had picked it out a long time ago to start. And so I started this pray always when we were together and I have finished it. And this is that, um, this is distressed denim. This is what I was talking about. So this is that new um, gassed thread. And I will show you what it looks like on a finish. So I'm gonna finish these as pillows. I don't know that I'm gonna do all three in the same distressed denim color. Oh, goodness gracious. But they're all three gonna go on the same fabric. Do you remember I showed you that Vicki Clayton silk that we dyed? I think I might use one of those for the pillows and then just do three different colors of pillows all in the same fabric. So this is just so, I love this so much. It's so pretty. Um, and that thread, I don't know that the camera is doing it justice, but look at the difference between the A and the L. This variegation is so good. Um, if you're looking for a good primitive blue, this, this would jump to the top of my list. So that is a finish there. Um, the words to live by, by um, Salt and Pepper, it's um, Emily Cole of Salt and Pepper Stitching. Um, so yeah, I think it's so cute. I keep, I'll show you this, in the bottom of this pattern, like it looks like such a fun Quaker, right? But now that I've seen that this looks like a bear, I can't unsee it. Like his head, his eyes, his nose, and he's like jumping rope or something. I cannot unsee it now. Now that I've placed that in my head. So that was another finish. Super, super fun. Now the cat is going to be up here because he's scared of Dodge. It's just, you know, we're just Dr. Doolittle over here. Okay. Um, let's do, okay, something I want to talk about. So for Mother's Day, my lovely children via my mother got me an ornament tree for Mother's Day. I now have a six foot ornament tree that holds 225 ornaments. 
it's a bear. And so when I put it all together, finally, last week, I was like, let me see how big this is. Cause it was just in a box and it didn't say on the box that it was six foot tall. So I was like, let me see. It is the size of a whole Christmas tree. Like it could be your Christmas tree. Um, and so I panicked and I was like, I don't have any ornaments to hang on this thing, but like my kids are going to want me to hang stuff on it. So I came up to my studio and I pulled all the ornament patterns that I could find. And then I just pulled a bunch of flosses, just random flosses. And I'm going to keep them all. A lot of them are color and cotton. I'm going to keep, it's all like my Christmas colors in our house. I'm going to keep them in this bag. And um, I got scraps of fabric and everything. And I'll just stitch, I'll just come up with my own colors as I stitch the designs. So let me show you. I had, thankfully, I have all four of the um, JBW Christmas ornament books. And there are 25 a piece in these. I won't stitch all 25 of them. But um, there's 100 ornaments right there. And do I think I'm going to get 225 ornaments in by the end of the year? No. But I would like to get a few in so that I can start um, and I'll fill in with clear glass ornaments as well. So I have all four of these JBW books. Gosh, Judy is just the sweetest, kindest person in the world. Um, and so I'm just very, very excited to get going on these. So I've got these. I had a random Annie B's that I bought. Um, the first time we met them at market in 2020. Um, so my colors will definitely be a little more prim than these, which is great. I have this sweet little Country Cottage Needleworks love pattern. Then I have some Blackbird stockings that I'll do. And I've already started, so I've got all the fabric for all the stockings that are in this book. So they have... Um, here, I don't want to bend the book, but here is, so they have a whole alphabet of, of stockings and I've already started those. Those were a 12 by 12 start, uh, quite a while ago. So I've got all the threads and things for that. So these are just going to live in this bag. Um, and I'm, I thought, well, maybe I could do one a week, like, cause those JBW ones are small. Like maybe I could do one a week and then I could at least have what, 20, or so we're halfway to Christmas. What? We're halfway to Christmas. Um, and tech guy got me, Joanne's was having a huge sale on DMC. So he grabbed all those JBW ones and, and got the DMC that was needed. So if I want to do called for on those, I can. Um, but I thought if I do one a week, but it's not looking so good so far. So that will live in my sewing caddy downstairs because yeah. So I got those things. Um, on my Always in Stitches trip, I found these colors. I'm always looking for good variegated black um, or gray, and I can never find it. And I found both of these at Always in Stitches and thought, okay, I'm just going to grab them, have them on hand, and remember that I really like these. So this one is um, by Gast, um, and it is Onyx. Let me... I don't have any fabric right here. Let me pull some fabric so you can see it. So this is that Emily Call piece that I finished. And here is that. So it's very soot colored. Love that. And then also, Weeks Dye Works Coal, you just can't go wrong with that. So I'll show you them together. They're very similar together. Coal just has a bit more variegation in it. So I pulled those so I have them. Um, and I needed black for a couple of projects anyway. So I pulled that and then, uh, what else? I always in stitches, did I buy anything else? No, I bought Isaac some, Isaac is Chris's daughter. I bought, or Chris's son. I bought him a pattern and the DMC for that and fabric for that. I bought myself a bunch of these little threads. I think that's it. I think that's all I bought from them. Um, okay, I did go do a little bit of shopping at uh, on Etsy and this is from the Three Sisters Design Co 
This is her face. Her name is Viv. And I got some stickers for some friends. And it says, Viv is not responsible for what her face does when you're talking. I just thought that was so stinking perfect. Um, we Somebody had shared this Etsy shop in our in our group chat and we found those, I found those stickers, um, Tammy and I did, and I just thought, oh my gosh, they're perfect. So I finally pulled the trigger and ordered those. Um, I did get my um, Be Stitch Me order in. I love Brandy so much. I, you know, I just really like her a lot. So here are all the silks for this month, for June. That blue is a really good blue. Um, so here's all the silks for the month. And then our fabric is called Catacombs. I get 46 count um, fat quarter. And trying not to crinkle so much between the dog barking and the crinkling of fabric. I'm so sorry. Okay. So this is called Catacombs. It is a 46 count is what I get just because that's what I prefer. And it is a gray and green. And then there is a bit of pink in there. So this would be, oh gosh, this would be good for so many things. So I, Brandy is very, she just, I really like her dye lots. I really enjoy the fabric. Um, there's not much that I don't like from Brandy. So I love it. Okay, so that's all of my haul. Yeah, that's all my haul. Next time I think my haul will only be that one, two, three stitch order that I placed. Um, okay, I wanna share just a couple of little birthday things with you. I'm not gonna share everything I got for my birthday. Um, and I got some cards in the mail, which were so incredibly sweet. Um, and I got some presents. Um, that I'm not going to share, but, um, I'm just so grateful for anybody who even takes the time to just wish me happy birthday. Um, that stuff takes time that, you know, it takes time to sit down and write a text message. It's, it's, it takes time to message you on Instagram. It, those things take time. And the fact that like somebody popped it in their head, Oh, today's Kia's birthday. Um, it's just so incredibly sweet. So, um, and the people who sent gifts were just so incredibly kind and generous. And so I've got a few gifts that I wanted to share with you. Um, but I'm going to keep some just close to my heart. So with that being said, um, on the last video, I showed you guys the example exemplar patterns that I got. And Tech Guy kitted them for me. So, um, or kitted one for me. So this one is forgiveness, which is just right now, it's just perfect for me to, to start this. And so love that. And all the threads are in there. That blue, I don't see it in this picture and I'm curious as to where it goes. So we'll see. Um, and then he also, I got this when we were at craft gallery. This is an exclusive to craft gallery in his image. And he got me the DMCs to go with this. I got the, there are only three um, over dyed floss that go with this pattern. And I bought those at Always in Stitches. And he got me the rest of the DMC from Joann's. So um, I've got that kitted and ready to go. Um, I had did, I had did, wow, English. I had done a little bit of shopping. Uh, my parents uh, gave me a card for my birthday. And I went to Vera Bradley. And um, Missy had gifted us some of these placemats because we were going to do a craft project with them. We were going to make some zipper bags out of them or figure out how to make project bags out of them. And I used one at StitchCon under all of my stitching stuff, like on our table, and it helped me confine my space so I didn't spread out all over the table. And I've done that at home and I love it. So I, I grabbed two more of these. These are the pattern I chose from Missy. And I grabbed two more of these um, so that I can kind of define my space and not get a little hoarder-ish. Um, my kiddos picked these out for me. They're so cute. It says, um, easy, beasy, 
They were so excited to get those for me. And then let's talk about cards for a second. I posted these on my Instagram and um, look how just, they're so cute. Happy bee day. This is, um, I'll just flash this really quick. This is our family and bees. I posted that on Instagram. And then our youngest, um, the fact that like he formed letters and wrote them on paper is so special to me. So I asked him what it says, cause we need to do that. And this says mom, super Mario. So just so incredibly sweet. So incredibly sweet. Um, okay. There is a big gift that I got from my dear friend and I want to share it, but I'm not going to because it is very special to me. I cried when I opened it. Um, find yourself friends who get you, who understand you, who, um, not even necessarily get you gifts, who you just love any time that you can spend with them and um, listen to everything that you say, everything that you say. So when I opened this gift, my jaw was on the floor because this person knew this is a lifelong goal of mine and she made it happen and I sobbed. So um, I got off the phone with her and just sobbed. Um, so find yourself those friends. Um, so I, I was going to share it, but I'm not going to because it is, it is very special to me. Maybe eventually I will, but, um, anyway, I teased it. I did tease it on Instagram. Um, okay. My mother found this for me. This is, um, it says it's from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. She did not find it at Target. She found it at a discount store. Um, they had, you know, sometimes like discount stores will buy merch that didn't sell at other big box store. So this apparently was merch that didn't sell at Target. And so this discount store bought it. Um, ours, one of our discount stores here is, is Ollie. I know that's around in some places. So this is, um, you, it put, you can put a brown paper roll in here, um, and turn, and then it's got like, you feed it through the bottom and then you can like rip it off so you can make notes. I want to do a band sampler and wrap it on this. So I need ideas. And because I like to stitch on 40 count and higher, am I gonna be able to make a band sampler and wrap it around this? Tell me, those of you who have done them, have any experience with them, tell me your thoughts. Is that even going to be possible? Because I, that's the first thing when I opened to that, that is the first thing I thought is I could throw a band sampler on there. It's cap. Um, so tell me your thoughts on that. All right. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for the jumbledness of the dog and the barking and everything. Um, thank you for just spending this time with me. There are so many floss tubers. There are so many great floss tubers now that, you know, you spending this time with me, I do not take that lightly. Um, so thank you very much for spending this time with me. Thank you for just um, your comments and everything that are just so in incredibly sweet. Um, and, you know, just everything. We don't typically have a cat visitor, but I think the dog is really just um, really wreaking havoc over here. So this is our, this is our motor. I showed him to you when he was a kitten. He's giant now um, and still very deaf. Cannot hear a single thing. Um, last week we had tornadoes. He was just snoring. So anyway, um, yes, thank you so much for, for spending your time with, uh, with me. So I um, will see you all next week. Thank you for joining me in the hive.